the ski and snowboard world loses an icon. Phil Lindemann with Crystal, 93 News. The most recognized name in ski films, Warren Miller, died late Wednesday at his home in Washington State. He was 93 years old. Make sure your seat belt's on tight because my money belt's on loose. I've hired this helicopter just for us and it can fly 150 miles an hour and climb 1,500 feet a minute. We're going to ski where there's no lift lines and no bad snow either. We're going on a six month round the world ski trip and I'm going to be your guide. I'm Warren Miller and you better hang on tight because here we go. That was Warren Miller on his 1984 classic, Ski Country. Miller hardly needs an introduction in the high country. He spent nearly seven decades traveling the world to film the weird and wild side of ski culture. He released his first film, Deep and Light, in 1950, when Colorado was home to just eight ski areas and only two in Summit County. Miller directed or narrated 55 annual ski films over the years, introducing us to bottomless powder at Vail before the resort spawned a global corporation, and showing us what it's like when cowboys meet skiers in Steamboat Springs. He told the story of the 10th Mountain Division in Eagle County's Camp Hale, and spent weeks filming the hand-dug halfpipe on Peak 9 when Craig Kelly, Burton, and the crew invaded Breckenridge in the 80s. He even showed Americans what all the fuss is about in the Alps, New Zealand, and Japan, and this season Season, his production company in Boulder released its 68th annual ski film. Warren Miller loved ski culture, and ski culture is richer because of him. He will be missed. A sheriff's deputy was shot and killed last night in Adams County, north of Denver. The Associated Press reports that deputies responded to an assault in progress when a man with a gun shot the deputy in the chest. The gunman was taken into custody, and a manhunt is underway for two other suspects. Officials did not give the name of the deputy, and they're still investigating the reason for the call. Local law enforcement is searching for a hit-and-run suspect after a ski crash at Breckenridge. On January 16th, a skier hit another skier on Peak 7, shattering his femur. The suspect then left the scene without stopping. If you have information about the incident or even saw what happened, call the Summit County Sheriff's Office at 970-453-2232. Again, that's 970-453-2232. There's a place in Siberia where the daytime temperature averages negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and a population of 280,000 people spends winter shuffling from one heated home to the next. This from National Geographic, a Nat Geo photographer visited Yakutsk, the coldest city in the world in eastern Siberia. Cold mist coats everything in ice, and most homes are built on stilts. If they aren't, they slowly sink into warming permafrost. There's still a statue of Lenin presiding over an empty square, and it's so cold there, even Warren Miller never visited. But there is a reason for the suffering in Yakutsk. Local mines produce one-fifth of the world's diamonds, plus precious metals like gold and silver. Today is the final day of carving at the International Snow Sculpture Championships in downtown Breckenridge. Stop by the Riverwalk Center parking lot to see artists in action, or tune in today at 4 and 5 p.m. for interviews from the field. Then stop by tomorrow to see the final product. In sporting news, Chipper Jones is heading to Cooperstown. Yesterday, the MLB announced this year's Hall of Fame class, and the Braves' star third baseman easily made the cut. Also making the Hall are Trevor Hoffman, Jim Thome, and Vlad Guerrero. But Chipper is the only one of those four to have won a World Series. The Hall of Fame induction happens this April. In sports, the Denver Nuggets play the New York Knicks tonight in Denver. Game time is 7 p.m. The Avalanche play the Blues tonight in St. Louis. Puck drops at 6 p.m. And all Summit High teams are off until tomorrow and the weekend. Phil Lindemann with Crystal, 93 News.